Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. To address marketing difficulties experienced by social economy enterprises, Gyeonggi Province held Public Procurement Matching Day, a sales promotion event at which such enterprises could pursue business opportunities with the Korea Land and Housing Corporation. At this business matching event, Ryu, an operator of a social cooperative in Bucheon City that supplies equipment to individuals with developmental disorders, looks forward to securing orders from public organizations, normally a difficult challenge for a social economy enterprise. Held at the Gyeonggi Regional Office of the Korea Land and Housing Corporation, this event saw participation by 35 social economy enterprises specializing in interior architecture. These enterprises were selected through local community support centers. During the event, these enterprises met with procurement officials through customized consultation arrangements. 이런 행사를 하게 되면 평균 10% 이상의 매출 효과가 있습니다. 지속적으로 사회적 경제 기업의 활로를 확보할 목적으로 경기도가 할수 있는 모든 역할을 다할 계획입니다. Through public procurement consultation events like this, social economy enterprises in Gyeonggi Province were able to secure 465 public organization orders valued at 1 billion Korean won in total this year. While the provinces of Gyeonggi and Jeju have been holding joint inter-Korean exchange and cooperation workshops since 2009, autonomous bodies of Korea have become eligible to host North Korean support projects. This eligibility was effectuated on October 22nd by the Ministry of Unification through the amendment of the Humanitarian North Korean Support and Cooperation Project Management Regulations. Initially, Gyeonggi Province, Seoul, and Incheon were designated as possible hosts for independent projects. Subsequently, Gyeonggi Province hosted a two-day workshop on local autonomy, inter-Korean exchange, and cooperation projects to discuss the current political situation and future outlook following the designation, as well as related project cases. Gyeonggi Province shared its experiences, including those involving malaria control support, and international conferences joined by North Korean representatives. Workshop participants unanimously agreed that inter-Korean projects should be acceptable by North Korea while avoiding the violation of international sanctions. On December 2nd, representatives of Shandong Province, China, visited Gyeonggi Province to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the sisterhood relationship between the two provinces. The two provinces agreed to designate the period until 2022 as years of friendship and to strengthen cooperation in every field, including economy, science, and technology. Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung expressed hopes that the two regions could become an international cooperation model, asserting that the current political tension in Northeast Asia should be replaced by new energy for advancement. Shandong Province Party Secretary Yu Jai responded by saying that he expects cooperation between the two provinces will lead to numerous positive results. On November 29th, SMEs in virtual and augmented reality fields presented reports on results of provincial support at the Gwangyo Business Center in Suwon City. 27 teams introduced new projects they had developed with support from the province since May. 
This event was followed by consultations with potential investors. Kyungi Province recently announced its plan to significantly increase the number of Kyungi Happy Town Management Offices, which provide diverse services for local non-apartment residents from the current 18 to 110 by the year 2022. At this time of year, Happy Town Guards are busy preparing the homes of solitary seniors for winter. After cleaning, they neatly stow away electric cords and replace plastic sheets to shield windows from cold winds. At this child care center, a Happy Town Guard serves as a day teacher playing with children who have difficulties engaging in outdoor activities. The guard helps children learn about insects and develop a sense of cooperation by using various educational tools. Introduced in urban communities with high proportions of seniors and working class residents last year, the Happy Town Management Offices provide community services, including environment improvement and patrols, immediately resolve issues such as delivery reception and home repairs, and also undertake other specialized services. 다양한 공공 서비스를 지역 주민의 관점에서 제공하고 지역 단 지역 사회 주체와 연계 또 공공 일자리 창출 등 경기 행복 마을 관리소가 지역 사회 공동체를 활성화하는 데큰 역할을 할 것으로 기대하고 있습니다. Currently, Happy Town Management Offices are operating at 18 locations in the province. The province plans to increase the number of offices to 43 by the end of next year and to 110 by the year 2022 on an application basis. The province intends to firmly establish the program as a self-sustaining resident-run public service model. Kyungi Province and 11 cities of the province recently agreed to jointly pursue the exclusion of large retail structures from backstreet commercial areas during urban planning stages. Large retail structures such as malls, supermarkets and shopping centers frequently enter backstreet commercial areas, negatively affecting local small businesses. According to related law, a retail business with an area of more than 3,000 square meters is subject to local government review only after construction permits have been issued, making it impossible to protect small businesses in that area. The purpose of this agreement is to protect backstreet commerce from the incursion of large retailers through administrative measures. Through this agreement, local autonomies will pursue related restrictions proactively during urban planning stages. According to this agreement, the autonomous bodies involved will jointly pursue alternatives based on local conditions and undertake the amendment of related local ordinances so as to restrict the establishment of large retail structures based on district zoning while also establishing legal criteria for such restrictions. 오늘은 열한 곳이 참여했지만 이게 조금의 가시성이 성과를 내고 또 시도민 대다수의 동의를 받는 정책이 되면 다른 시군들도 아마 다 참여할 수 있을 거라고 생각해서요. 어쨌든 오늘의 이 출발은 정말로 의미 있다라고 생각합니다. This agreement marks the first case in Korea in which an area-wide autonomy and its local autonomies have joined together to protect backstreet commerce. Small business organizations in Kyungi province welcome the provincial administration's new policy to restrict the entry of large retailers into backstreet commercial areas and express their desire to see the province-wide expansion of the policy. On December 3rd, more than 20 small business owners and market merchants in Kyungi province gathered in front of the Kyungi provincial government complex to express their views on this policy. The representatives of these small business organizations argued that current large retailer registration regulations do not effectively protect backstreet commerce since such regulations apply only after construction permits are issued. 
They agreed that Kyungi's new policy is positive for protection. They also asserted that, with this policy acting as a safety net, Backstreet Commerce will gain confidence and that this policy should lead to final legislation. These small business organization representatives also offered assurances of their support for the province-wide expansion of the policy. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.